So a couple of people got visibly upset because they thought I was speaking ill of the recently deceased Steve Smoger by speaking the truth, right? Giving you evidence and speaking the truth about the man's legacy. Now, we live in a world dominated by snowflakery and a clown world where people say shit that doesn't make any sense. Essentially just telling on themselves. I wasn't speaking ill of Steve Smoger. You were. And just because you don't know what the meaning of certain phrases is, that doesn't make me wrong. And because you don't, it makes you wrong. All right? So this whole idea that, like, first of all, that you can't speak ill of the dead, right? Well, that's easily deaded in one question, right? Was Jeffrey... Uh, the way that these people define speaking ill, right? Which they're wrong about, which we'll get to in just a second. But it's dead with one question, right? Was Jeffrey Dahmer a murderer? Well, you can't say that, right? Because that would be speaking, according to you, dummies, those of you that are, that would be speaking ill of Jeffrey Dahmer. How dare you? Oh, my God. Shout out to all the retards out there. Why are you retarded? Hmm. Man, the coffee's so good this morning. I didn't put any cream in there. So, okay, but fair enough. Why, if even if I grant you that calling a murderer a murderer is speaking ill of someone, my question to you is, well, why not? Why can't we speak ill of the dead? Why not? You don't have an answer for that. You, well, you, can, you will say things, right? But the, the answer to the counterpoint to what you're going to say, right, is going to be me saying things too, which will invalidate you just saying things because you can't substantiate, you, you can't prove your point. Why not? Why can't we speak ill? Even if I grant you the way you define speaking ill of people, which you're wrong about, which I'll prove in just a second, why can't we speak ill of the dead? Why not? Why can't we? You have no justification for that, right? Your justification essentially is going to come down to because I feel like it, right? And a counterpoint to that is, well, and I feel the opposite way. So I win, right? What are you doing? If, it's, if, if morality doesn't exist, right? If morality is subjective, then it doesn't exist. What objective moral criteria? Because nowhere in the Ten Commandments does it say that I can't speak ill in the way you define ill of someone. What objective moral law says that we can't speak ill of the dead? Huh? I thought so. So you can't even you can't even justify your own beliefs. Fucking dumb fucks. Anyway, but was I speaking ill of Steve Smoger by speaking the truth, or were you speaking ill by lying? That should be obvious, right? Whether you were lying or, or spreading misinformation, same thing, right? You weren't speaking the truth. Is speaking the truth about someone speaking ill? Well, only in clown world would that be a problem. Anyway, so what does it mean to speak ill of someone or something? It's to say malicious things, for example, right? Like, I hope he burns in hell. Did I ever say anything of that sort? No. I didn't, did, I, did I wish any harm would come upon a dead man? <laughs> You'd have to in some way, shape, or form believe in the afterlife, right? Yet have no clue what objective morality is. What kind of religion is that? I'd like to know, right? To to believe that I was saying malicious things about a dead man. Right. But yeah, it would be something along the lines of, I hope he burns in hell, right? That would be malicious, which was nowhere to be found in that video. So that doesn't apply. Saying objectionable things. <laughs> well, I mean, anybody can object to anything anybody says, right? So if if I was saying something that somebody objected to, 
when it came to Steve Smogat. Does that mean I was speaking ill of him? Well, but the things I was merely objecting to what everybody else was saying about Steve Smogger because it wasn't true and I proved it, right? So just because somebody objects to what you have to say doesn't mean you're speaking ill, right? Because then both of us were speaking ill and that doesn't make any sense, right? The objection has to be valid, sound, objectively true. Just because you object to something, right? Doesn't mean anything except that you're into your feelings, potentially, right? So was your objection objectively valid, right? Well, no, it wasn't. Mine was, right? Because you were speaking things that weren't true, and I was. I was speaking the truth. So my objection to you spreading bullshit about Steve Smoger was truthful. Though, thus, you have no grounds on which to object, no valid grounds on which to object to what I was saying, and I do. So you're the one speaking ill, right? Now, granted, I am um, taking a very liberal interpretation of speaking ill of someone, but still, it's a valid one, right? Just because you object to something, that doesn't mean that you have any valid grounds to on which to object to something somebody else said. I did in that case. So if you were saying that Steve Smogger was a fair and great insofar as he up upheld the rules of boxing, in that sense, a great referee, you were speaking ill of the man. What's What else do we hate? De oh, defamatory things, right? I was defaming him, supposedly. What does it mean to defame someone? Well, it's to... Let's look up the definition. It's to damage someone's good reputation, right? Now, on the surface... Yeah, you could say that because um, Steve Smoger's reputation was that he was a fair referee and I was taking that away from him, right? That I was defaming him, right? Because I was speaking out against his good reputation, right? No, wrong. Once again, you fail, right? Because in order for his good reputation to be good, right? It has to be correct. It has to be truthful, right? If if people perceive him as something that he isn't, right? Well, that's the wrong reputation. How can something be wrong and good at the same time? It can't. I hope that makes sense. So just because a whole bunch of people had the wrong idea about Steve Smoger, that doesn't mean his reputation was good. Subjectively, in the eyes of those people, his reputation was good. But objectively... It wasn't. It's not. Right? Let me take another sip of my coffee. And, in other words, uh, to defame someone is to libel them, right? Or slander them, right? What, could you have taken me to court and won the case against me? Saying that, proving that I was slanderous or libeling the man by calling him that? By showing you proof and evidence of who he actually was and calling him, labeling him accurately as who he was, a bad referee. Really? Could could you have sued and won? Sued me for slander and won because I called the man that which he was exactly? Huh? Right? And once again, we come right back to the truth. Right? The good. Moral correctness. Right? To speak ill of someone. Well, what's what's an illness? What is an illness? Well, it's, it's a disease, right? When something... And, okay, that may be subjective, but we all agree that that's what it is, right? Even if it is subjective, it's universal. This is a universal law, if you will, a rule, which I guess would make it objective. There's something wrong with our bodies, right? Our bodies are in a diseased state, a state that if isn't amended, fixed, or brought back to normal, if you will, um, will bring about death, right? There's something wrong 
with our bodies. Our bodies aren't functioning uh, as they were designed to function, you could say, right? Disease, illness, right? There is something wrong, at least in the way we interpret it, right? So to speak ill of someone is to be wrong about them, right? To say things that are, well, not true, bad, right? Now, calling a bad man bad is not being bad yourself. That's being good, obviously. should be obvious anyway. So to, to speak about the world as it is and represent it truthfully, honestly, and objectively for what it is, right? To speak about the objective, let me put it to you this way, state of affairs, right? Well, what kind of an illness is that? Well, only in fucking clown world could that be considered ill. So no, I wasn't speaking ill of Steve Smoger by speaking the truth and proving it, right? This doesn't apply to me. And nobody was being malicious because you guys who disagreed with me weren't wishing anything ill upon him, right? But in a sense, you were speaking ill of him because you weren't speaking the truth. Does that make sense? And one last thing before we go. Was Jeffrey Dahmer a murderer? Fucking retards. Thanks for watching.